Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Deposit Boxes plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to purchase and rent a deposit box, which allows you to safely store your items in case you get raided or something. So first of all, let's have a look at this deposit box. If we open it up, you can see we have two rows of storage space. It's currently not being rented out to anyone. It's a level two box, which we can upgrade down here and here we can change the rent. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a brand new one. What we need is a normal chest and a token. So pop down the chest and do forward slash deposit boxes. That will show us all of the commands and we're going to do forward slash deposit box and then buy. Once you've done this, you will be able to buy a token and then right click a chest and that will create a deposit box. So it will look just like the other one, except it will only have one row. So this is a level one deposit box. So down here, we will need to pay $5,000 to upgrade it. Click that, there will be a nice particle effect and it will upgrade. Then 7,500, then 10,000. And as you can see, that is the maximum. So you can change all of these prices in the config file, which is really cool. And down here, we can change the rent. So if you have lots of money, you could buy lots of deposit boxes and rent it out to your players. Or friends so um, what we can do is click that and then type any number in chat let's type a hundred and there we go so it will be a hundred dollars every day and it will tell you how much it collects then up here it says it's not currently being rented out to anyone but if we click this uh, we can type in someone's username such as myself um, but you cannot rent to yourself unless you enable it in the config file so that is pretty much everything in game um, as you can see there is one more command it's for slash eviction box so if you're evicted um, because you don't pay the um, daily amount because you don't have enough your items will evic be evicted and you can obviously pick them back up by doing four slash eviction box uh, like so but obviously I haven't been evicted so that is empty but that is everything in game we are going to have a look at the config file where you can change various settings so here we are in the S and Picnic control panel in the deposit boxes folder and as you can see there are three different files so the middle one, the data.yml, that obviously stores all of your data. The lang.yml, this has all of the messages that will pop up in chat. So these have different color codes, you can obviously change those. And it has the evicted message, so when you get evicted, you have 15 minutes to get your items before they get destroyed permanently. Um, so be very, very careful of that. Uh, but other than that, there is not much you should change in there. So the main file you want to mess around with is the config.yml. Now in here, uh, we have a few things that we can change. So we have the glass type up here, whether you want rainbow colored grass, uh, glass, sorry. The default rents, that's 250. The token price, so the emerald we bought in order to create a deposit box, which is 2,500 by default. And whether it drops on when you break the, uh, the deposit box. And down here, number seven, can you rent to yourself? So we tried this in game, but obviously you can't as it's false to, by default but you could change that to true. Then we have all of the different levels. So remember in game we bought all of these and every time you go up a level, it gets even more expensive. You could even create a brand new level by copying and pasting uh, one of the previous ones. So let's go ahead and do that and create level five. Uh, so level five is going to cost maybe 15,000 uh, for example. And down here, the upgrade particle type is spell witch. So let's go ahead and click save and that will obviously save everything you've done, then restart your server and away you go. So that is it for me for this week. If you need a server to host, um, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around.